Today everyone, today on the bench I'm going to tie you up a black ghost. This is uh, one of my favorite flies for brook trout and uh, I'll just show you I'm doing a little variation here. I'm going to add some polar bear into this pattern. It's never been tied that way originally but I just like the way it looks in the water. Create a little add-on. I'm going to use some Daiichi 2220 streamer hooks. These are in size 8. You can also tie this in size uh, 10s as well. Uh, the body, I'm going to use some black uh, unifloss. The rib, I'm going to use some unifent uh, French oval, small, and silver. We're going to use some yellow and white polar bear. We're going to add that into this pattern. The tail and the throat is some yellow hackle. And the wings will be some small wings down here on the hen neck. So we'll get a hook in the vise and tie one of these up. Black ghost. So we'll start our thread on the shank here all the way along, dress our shank up again. In the tail position. And get some of my yellow hackle. Clip the tips off so they're nice and straight. Tie that end right at the end here, underneath. Wrap it forward. Some of the silver oval here for the rib. Tie that along the shank. Way back. Out of the way. Now I'm just going to leave this oval. Um, floss on a bobbin here just keeps it a little more manageable for me but you can wrap it by hand and if you got smooth hands it doesn't get too frayed on you but if you get the rough hands it gets hard to handle. So we're just gonna lay it on this is a single strand floss. I'm gonna go and build myself a body here. Cover it up and build a bit of a Cigar shape. And some of you would take a lot of time and, and uh, make sure that's perfectly flat. You can do so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing it perfect. I just like to get my flies tied, go to fish with them, make sure they're strong. The fish like to eat them. Wind my rib up there. If I was going to hang that on the wall, I'd make sure I got that body really nice and thin and flat. Flatten that floss out perfectly. A little bit of fiber sticking out. Not a big deal. The fish won't know or care. Okay. It's always nice to take some pride. I. I, I do put some flies together kind of quickly, but so I'm going to take some little bit of this polar bear. I just want to envelope it around the shank. I like it on the bottom too. And that gives it kind of that ghost appearance. Trim them butts off. <coughs> I got my eye clean there. Okay, this will come in nice around the bottom. And then I'll get another good pinch of my hackle for the throat. Tie that in underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. Then on the top side, I'm going to come in just a little bit of my yellow polar bear. Give a little more accent on top. And that'll go right to the tail. So now I'll just get a couple of my feathers from the hen neck. They're nice rounded tips. And I'll just 
envelope the uh, yellow polar bear with that right to the end here. And I'm just going basically on the top, on the outside, kind of on a 45. I'm not going right on the top, I'm not going right on the side. Right, kind of at that angle, right there. Kind of makes a little roof. Trim those butts off. And then I'll finish up the head. A big head on the fly. Original pattern had um, jungle cock eyes on it too. You can do that if you like. I don't with my fishing flies. Okay, we'll do that and we'll get in some of our resin here, some of our solar X solar res. Runs into the fibers back here, that's good. Everything gives a little more strength. Shoot her with my UV light, get that all cooked on. I got a couple fibers on the bottom, I can trim them off later. Okay, that's a, a good little fly, like for your brook trout out there for sure. And that little bit on the hair in the water just adds quite a bit to the pattern, I think, when it's when it's in the water, it just gets it kind of gets tones that black down a little bit, and uh, I like the yellow underneath the wing, it's that little bit of accent as well. So if you're able to get your hands on some polar bear, fine. If not, they do have some uh, substitutes, or you can go without the polar bear. But that's the way I tie my version of the black ghost. So appreciate you watching today on uh, Sport Fishing on the Fly on the Bench, and we hope to get you again. Real quick, thank you. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.